Okay, let's try something. Let's pretend to be a Tyrannosaurus. Hold your tiny arms in close to your body. Look hungry. Mm. Make your legs huge as you walk. Now, show your terrible teeth. Ah! You scared me. Good pretending. Here's an art idea. Make an Allosaurus or a Tyrannosaurus Rex puppet out of an egg carton. Have mom or dad help you with this. Cut an egg carton in half and secure it with a rubber band. Then you can draw in color on it and make your dinosaur special. <coughs> Which of these beast feet dinosaurs had feathers but couldn't fly? Archaeopteryx. Which one was probably the fastest runner? Strepiomimus. Do you remember which theropod made nurseries for their young? Allosaurus. Very good. The next group of dinosaurs are called sauropods, or lizard feet. The most popular of the sauropods is the friendly brontosaurus. But recently, scientists discovered they had put the wrong head on the brontosaurus skeleton, so they changed his name to apatosaurus, which means deceptive lizard. <laughs> Apatosaurus was the size of six elephants. A plant eater with weak teeth, Apatosaurus, swallowed rocks called gastroliths, which ground up all the food in his stomach. <coughs> Two other sauropods were Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus. Diplodocus was the size of ten elephants, and Brachiosaurus could have peeked over a four-story building. Until recently, Paleontologists believe that Brachiosaurus was the heaviest of all dinosaurs. That is, until they discovered Supersaurus. One of his neck bones was as tall as your mom. Scientists thought he was the tallest dinosaur until they discovered Ultrasaurus. <laughs> she stood a hundred feet high. One of her footprints filled with water would make a great bathtub. All five of these sauropod cousins, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, Supersaurus, and Ultrasaurus ate plants, walked on four legs, and were called lizard feet because their feet looked like lizard feet. As a matter of fact, they had hips very similar to lizards too. <laughs> You know, our friends the sauropods probably had to eat all day long to feed their huge bodies. If you could eat all day, what would you eat? Fruit? Ice cream? Spinach? Which one of these dinosaurs is different? This guy is different. He's a theropod with beast feet, remember? This group of dinosaurs is called ornithopods, or bird feet. That's right. Their feet look like bird feet, and they also had bird-like hips. This fascinating creature is an anatosaurus, which means duck lizard. It's not hard to see how she got her name. Her mouth looks like a duck, doesn't it? In her mouth were hundreds of grinding teeth used to eat plants. Can you imagine brushing her teeth? She could have gone through a whole tube of toothpaste in one night. <laughs> anyway, paleontologists believe that Anatosaurus used to run into the water to escape our hungry friend, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Pretty smart, huh? This dinosaur is a cousin of Anatosaurus and was discovered by a Canadian paleontologist named Lambie. So we call her Lambiosaurus. <laughs> if you could name a dinosaur, what would you call it? Mikeosaurus? Saliosaurus? <laughs> Daddyosaurus? Hey, how about lizard lips? It's up to you. You may have noticed that Lambiosaurus seems to be wearing a silly hat. Well, that's not a hat at all. It's part of her head. It may have helped her sense of smell. Or maybe it worked like a built-in instrument making a terrific noise. Bah! Here's another art idea. Make a Lambiosaurus crest using paper plates, paper bowls, and some elastic. Fasten the elastic across the plate 
and then glue your bowl on top. Split the bowl and add another paper plate for height. Then decorate. Pretty neat, huh? Some other ornithopod cousins were Cytacosaurus, who had a toothless parrot beak, and Iguanodon, who had four long fingers and a spiky thumb, which he used to protect himself from becoming someone else's meal. All ornithopods were plant eaters and usually walked on two feet. <laughs> ornithopods, especially the duckbills like Anatosaurus, often had nurseries for their babies, just like Allosaurus. Remember? Hey, let's try something. Let's pretend to be baby duckbills hatching from our eggs. Slowly break open your shell. What kinds of sounds would you make? <laughs> Nobody knows what dinosaurs sounded like. How would you call your parents? Mama. Baba. Would you bark? <coughs> would you moo? I wonder if dinosaurs burped. <coughs> okay, climb out of your shell. Good. Now, let's call our parents the way you think dinosaur babies sounded. <coughs> Very good, that was fun. A little noisy, but fun. This next batch of dinosaurs is one of my favorites. Horned, plated, and armored. First, the horned faces or ceratopids. You know, from the ceratops family. Meet protoceratops. His name means first horned face. But that's stretching the point because actually, he only had a small bump on his snout, not a true horn. The adults grew to about the size of a sports car. Mm, mm, mm. And their babies were the size of piglets. Protoceratops was a good parent, watching and feeding their babies after they were born. Our next guy is probably the most popular of the Ceratops dinosaurs, and you may even know his name. Let me give you a clue. He had three horns. Triceratops. His name means three-horned face, and he was much bigger than Protoceratops. A full-grown Triceratops was as long as two school buses and roamed the North American plains like buffalo. His large bony collar, or frill, and his three horns were enough to keep most animals from bugging him. Only Tyrannosaurus Rex was mean and hungry enough to attack him. Yikes! Uh, other Ceratopids had as many as five or six horns, like Pentaceratops, and Styracosaurus. Here's a simple way to make a set of Ceratops horns. All you need is a hairband and a couple of paper tubes. Have mom or dad help you put a hole in each tube so you can slip the hairband through. Decorate and you've got your very own Ceratops horns. A good example of a plated dinosaur is Stegosaurus. His name means roof lizard and was about the size of a small elephant with all these enormous bony plates on its back. Stegosaurus looked ferocious, but actually spent its day grazing peacefully like a cow. Mm. Stegosaurus had a very small brain, so he developed an extra set of control nerves called ganglion near his hip to tell the powerful tail and back legs what to do. His tiny brain just couldn't do it all. This dinosaur was also a grazer and is called Ankylosaurus, which means stiff lizard. Ankylosaurus looked like a giant armadillo because she was covered with thick oval plates of bone. There were even bony plates over her eyelids. She weighed as much as an elephant and her tail ended in an enormous bony club, which she would swing at anyone who interrupted her quiet grazing. All of the horn plated and armored dinosaur cousins were plant eaters who walked on four legs and had bird-like hips. Try this. Can you find the ceratops with the most horns? Styracosaurus, good. Which dinosaur is Triceratops? Remember, he's the one with three horns. Here he is, did you find him? Here's 
here's another art idea. Make a dinosaur out of clay or Play-Doh and ask mom or dad for some macaroni, pasta shells, or buttons. Then press these items into your dinosaur to make it into a stegosaurus or ankylosaurus. Let's see. I've made some notes on dinosaurs. Big Tyrannosaurus, Rex and Allosaurus hunted meat. Big Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus all like plants to eat. Anatosaurus and Iguana done. Had to fill Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus had tails that could kill. Ah! Supersaurus and Ultrasaurus were the biggest ones. Consonasus and Struthiomimus, they could really run. Styracosaurus and Triceratops had horns. Dinosaurs lasted for more than 150 million years. A very, 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 very long time. And then suddenly, they disappeared. And nobody knows why. But I bet you have some ideas. Okay, try this. Can you find the meat eaters in this group? Tyrannosaurus rex and Struthiomimus were the meat eaters. Which dinosaur is called the roofed lizard? Yeah, Stegosaurus. Which dinosaurs were sauropods? Diplodocus and Apatosaurus are sauropods. Last one. Can you find any duckbill dinosaurs? There's two. Lambiosaurus and Anatosaurus were duckbills. Another name for duckbills is Hadrosaurs. <laughs> 